Peggy 16. We want to make Destiny weird again. We want to bring the hobby back. That's what we've been saying all year. The plan in year two is that there's something new to chase, something new to do, some new experience that's happening every week, every month, year round. If we take everything we learned from Destiny 1, including the expansions like Taken King, take everything we learned from Destiny 2 on top of what we've learned from the fans and the players, put that all together in one package, uh, we think that's what Forsaken's going to be, and we're super excited about it. Patch 2.0 is the release that comes out on 8.28. It's the big update, uh, getting ready for the Forsaken expansion. Yeah, giving you a chance to see all the new changes and kind of where we're going with Forsaken. First thing you're going to see is the new director. It looks very different. There's a lot more announcements on the director screen itself, and the director layout will be updated. We've had a lot of ways to get power, a lot of ways to like track your milestones and track your quests, and they didn't fit in the milestone blade anymore, so we've taken a lot of that stuff out, and now a lot of them live as quests in the pursuit bucket. There's weapons changes that we're prepping. So we've increased vault space by 200 slots. Yeah. <laughs> First thing you're going to want to do is dismantle everything that you don't even need. So it's gonna, you're going to have a lot of room to work with, but random rolls is going to be interesting because you're going to want to keep a couple before you start to realize which one of those random rolls that you really want to keep. Forsaken is the beginning of the season of The Outlaw, which is season four of Destiny 2. Season four is going to have a lot of stuff to yes. do. Yes, yeah, <laughs> it is a lot. Well, launch is going to start with the campaign and Gambit being the first front and center things that people are going to jump into. Second week, the raid. We're really focusing on systems that players can engage with besides just power. So we have lore that you can go find out in the world. There's items and bosses you can kill that will tell you a story that you can go read in the game. We have bounties that, that are like on all the vendors yeah. and that like tell a story and are part of that destination loop. Find your way to the Dreaming City, and then you can see that the Dreaming City evolves. There's going to be a new triumphs to unlock. For me, the way that triumphs is going to change behavior is just in the chase for titles yeah. for, for me. There's not very many of them. They're really hard to get. You have to do a lot of triumphs. But when you get to put that over your head Something. and nobody else has it, it feels good to walk around the tower. Yeah. When I see one in the wild, I'm going to be like, that person is a god to me. Yeah. I say god a lot in these things. <laughs> the start of each one of the seasons, and there'll be four of them a year, is where we're going to reset and refresh events and rituals and holidays that players are going to want to play and that will have rewards available to every player. In that first month, you're going to be able to play a new PvP mode called Breakthrough. And so that'll come out. And so we're really excited to have people play both that and the new Iron Banner with power enabled with the new weapon slot changes and the new sandbox balance tuning. So we think that's going to be pretty exciting. Yeah. We try to ensure with all of the seasonal content that there's exciting short-term chases for someone who just wants to log in and try out a new event or a new experience. And if you really want to grind your face off, there's also rewards that'll be exclusively for the most committed, most skilled Destiny players. The main thing that we want to change with year two of Destiny is that there's never a content drought. There's always something new happening every month year-round. So there's seasonal updates that are free for all players, and major content beats as part of the annual pass. The annual pass is a result of our learning and looking over this last year of how people have responded to uh, Osiris and Warmind, and the things that they've really they've resonated. Escalation, Escalation protocol, protocols. Escalation yeah, yeah. protocols, and the hidden quests uh, in Warmind, and the Whisper quest, and a lot of the things we're doing in Forsaken that we haven't even talked about, like those types of things uh, are really exciting and we think are going to excite players more. So the three that are, are coming, Black, Black, Black Armory, Armory Joker's, Wild, Joker's Wild, and Penumbra. And Penumbra. Yeah. What if there was this elite group of crafters who created some of the most notorious weapons in the Destiny universe, and you're going to get exclusive access to this vault that has the greatest weapons ever created in the Golden Age. So with Joker's Wild, there's this really interesting new character named the Drifter, and there's all of this backstory. But you'll just get a, you'll begin to get a glimpse of that in Forsaken, and Joker's Wild is our chance to go deeper. And what is his greater purpose? And what is inside that crazy rock he's got attached to his ship? So just like we saw with the, the, the Whisper of the Worm quest that came out uh, recently, like those kind of secrets that players discover themselves are super exciting. What if we took an entire release, you know, let leak the, uh, the name Penumbra, but what if everything else was the mystery box that players will uncover collaboratively? 
It's not since Taken King that I feel like we, we took a game, we got a lot of things right, we got a bunch of things wrong, and this is our chance to go back and reset the ledger. I mean, there's yeah. so many different things that Destiny 2 did that set us up for this, and then Destiny 1 did a bunch of things that we'd walked away from at Destiny 2's launch that we're embracing again, and so Forsaken takes the best of those worlds and, and puts it into one package, and we do think it's the best version of Destiny. That and it adds, and adds, adds more. something Absolutely. new. I mean, yeah. yeah, honestly, it's what the game needs to be.